Hey guys, welcome Matt Wester here. Hey listen, just in case you're interested, T-Rex 600, setting up your head and all your linkages is quite tricky and quite confusing. So what I wanted to do was clarify a couple of things that I've kind of worked out myself, because um, there's a lot of stuff out there that's confusing and not quite in depth enough. Um, this. This particular T-Rex has the linkages like this here uh, that come off the main servo the, um, and the one on the other side as well. A couple of things to note here. First of all, if you have a look, the actual servo, the output shaft is at the bottom towards the bottom of the helicopter on both sides. Don't put them to the top. I learnt this the hard way. If you put them to the top, it, they rub on, the um, outer rings rub on the canopy. Okay. Um, the other thing, uh, one, you, you need to make sure you follow the book on linkage lengths. Particularly, the, the most important ones um, are what, the, these two here. All of, them are, all of them are important, but to set the head up right and get the actual swash, get the swash to the right height, this is fixed. This little link here is fixed. You can't adjust the height of that. Um, so the, the, it's critical that you get the links for the um, this elevator servo, which is at the back, over here. Where is it? Over here. Elevator servo that you can see the the wheel on the on the front there. And there, there's two linkages coming off there. Those two linkages, you make sure you set those to the right height because they're very hard to adjust. So basically, you want to make sure the length of those two that go forward to this link, this pivot point here, um, it allows this to travel up and down. Um, so these two linkages here that allow this to travel up and down have to be correct, the correct length. Once you've set that up, you've got your basis for setting everything else up and it will, everything else will come together perfectly, hopefully. So um, you need to make sure that you, whether you do it through the... There's two, I actually use the gap between the links. Um, if you have a look on here, I'll show you this sheet here. It gives you three three different measurements. The bottom measurement is the actual measurement between the two plastic portions of the links, which is one the method I use, and I double check it with the with the centre to centre. Um, but this measurement here. That they've got in the in the middle. That's the length of the actual rod that you're using if you're putting it together from scratch. Now with this particular helicopter, I got it second hand, um, and it actually had the wrong links in it. So I've actually made two. I've made this one here and this one here. So they, these ones here are supposed to be um, where's it here. Um, 39.5. Yeah, I made I made two 39.5 shafts and threaded them. Um, so you ba I basically buy 10, 10 two, two millimeter shafts for two bucks plus a couple of bucks freight from a hobby king or any hobby shop usually has those sorts of things. Then you can make whatever links you you need to make to the correct length. So. Uh, basically, I'll just rattle off the numbers. You want the gap between the two links on on these ones here. That gap between there and there, plastic to plastic, is 30, uh, 31.5. And make sure they're identical. Double check, triple check with your digital digital verniers. I've got 31.48. Should be 
31.5 and the centers so center hole to center hole should be 60.5 okay and now both they both should be identical um, these ones here you start off with a base adjustment but you need to do a final adjustment to get them to actually sit in make sure you don't have you don't want to be pulling them in, into um, position they should be sitting over the hole and pop straight on okay so the initial length for that is uh, 41 millimeters between centers and 70 uh, sorry between link to link and 70 between centers so you set one up and then the other one you have to match it basically same for both sides.